We know what we're going to do, we just don't know when it's going to get started. We're anxious. Rain has affected our construction schedules, and for every day that it rains, it, it delays our schedule by two days. For six weeks, we were in the black hole. Let me put it this way, we're a pioneer. Yes, there's other 55 active communities, but they're really not doing what Kissing Tree is doing. Every organization that has a vision, and this is a really bold vision, Great visions have lots of moving parts. Sometimes it takes a while to get all the gears to sync, but when they do, oh man, it's awesome. It's awesome. My name is Sam Houston. I'm what you folks today might call a pretty big deal. We decided to open up a temporary sales and design center, and we decided to do it in a very unique way, and that is by taking shipping containers and converting them into functional spaces. And with everything else that we're doing, we decided to take on a brand new project that nobody's ever done, seen, or thought of. Our goal is to connect with the prospect and let them know that we're building something that makes sense for them, that we've thought through it, and we understand who they are as a buyer, as a person, and what they want. You truly are pioneers. You're the first people that are here, and when you, three years from now, are sitting up in the social building and you're talking to your brand new neighbors that just moved in, you get to say, I was here before any of this stuff was here. I wanted a place where I could easily stay active. The uh, ability to have a nice place put together in this area is just wonderful. Kevin was out there and he was talking establishing get-togethers and activities before. before it even starts. Even before they move in the community, they start to meet a lot of different people and the community becomes that much smaller for them. What a great idea. You're building the community before we have houses here. When we started the Pioneer Reservation Program, our folks that were coming on early on the journey with us really loved that they were pegged to Pioneer. The excitement is there. We are temporarily officially open for business. This project to me personally means a lot. It's, it's testing some of the things that I've known or, or had very little experiences doing. One of the uh, largest challenges that, that we've had to overcome was the model project, model park. A lot of these plans have, have not been built before. So when we start construction, we get them up and framed. And then at that point, we make any framing changes, any modifications that we want to do. And that's part of the challenge of a project like this is there's so many moving parts and pieces that one little thing can trip all the dominoes and, and create a chain effect. Heavy rains basically shut down the outsides, but we just, we can't stop, so. Uh, Did you get extra days for rain? <laughs> you have to deal with the, the elements of the weather, uncontrollable, but you learn to deal with it and you move and figure out different ways to keep things moving as much as you can. And then when it breaks, you, uh, you try to make up as much time as you possibly can. <laughs> We wanted to get out in front of the holidays and things like that, so we said October should be a deliverable date for all eight models. So leading up to it, what do we need to do to engage prospects? I really like what the marketing team is calling it, the taste of Kissing Tree. We're not open yet, but we're bringing them into the first five model homes to give them that taste of Kissing Tree. The biggest takeaway for us, we got to dine with Oh, it had to be in excess of 100, 200 other pioneers 
I can look you straight in the eye and tell you we didn't meet a couple that we didn't like, that we didn't say that could be our neighbor. After the model homes open, we continue having more fun. We move through our reservations, start construction on their houses, and start our community and the lifestyle that we've been selling. One of the greatest challenges is one of our greatest selling points, and that's the ability to customize certain elements of your home. I don't think we would have moved here if we weren't allowed to do the customization that, that Brookfield is allowing us to do. Everything we wanted to put in our house, we are able to get. And that's what created the delays, is just making sure that we had those right before we rolled those out. We came into the year with a great January, a great sales momentum from last October, and then everything sort of started to slow down. We're not selling anymore because we can't tell them where they can put what house, where and how. We're officially, unofficially opened. When we came in, there was no property to, to look at. So Kevin had to sell us on the concept. I've created some activities that will encourage them to get out and start to meet their new neighbors. Even before they move in the community, they will have experienced some ladies' luncheon, some men's breakfast, some pickleball outings, some golf outings. House building is always stressful. We all go through the stresses. I don't care how good the company is, and Brookfield is a fabulous company. This takes your mind off that. Wow! This is amazing. Welcome to Kissing Tree, everyone. This will be the garage, and it's a natural view to the 18th hole. And if you're in the neighborhood, come on by. We're going to live here. We, we are, are going, going to live, to live here. here. <laughs> this is what we're coming here for. The summer months really picked up. We saw a lot of visitors out traveling, wanting to see the hill country, wanting to see what we were up to. We've got more than 100 homes sold and sort of in different phases of design and construction. So it's a really exciting way to end the year. The great thing about Kissing Tree is that we've become a family. We know everybody already. It's a huge leap of faith. But when you look at Brookfield as a company, you look at what they've done, how they operate. If you analyze it, you think if anybody can do it, these guys can do it. We're moving in really soon, like two to three weeks, hopefully. So it's exciting. Wow. I mean, you look back. 12 months ago and literally the place was dirt. The dream that was on paper and in our heads is now starting to look like a community. It's starting to feel like a community. So yeah, the dream is starting to become reality and reality is exciting. <laughs>